Hello children. We know that any object or body moves when we push or pull. When objects or bodies move, they change their place. It takes some time to change their place. I am Bindu. Will explain to you the topic motion in this motion chapter of class 9th physics. What is motion? The movement of a body or an object is called motion. It takes time to move from one point to another. Learning outcomes. After studying this topic, you will be able to know distance and displacement and the difference between them. Uniform and non-uniform motion. Speed and velocity. Average speed and velocity. Keywords Distance Displacement Speed Velocity Uniform motion Non-uniform motion Average speed Average velocity Acceleration. Let us see the types of motion in this concept map. Distance travelled by a body is the actual length of the path covered by a moving body. Even if a body changes direction, distance will be added always. Here a person moving from point A to C has to change direction at point B. But distance will be added even if the direction is changed. Displacement is the shortest distance along with direction between the initial and final point. Point A is the initial point from where a body starts moving and point B is the final point where the body stops moving. If a body changes direction Displacement also changes. The distance of a moving body can never be zero. The displacement of a moving body can be zero. If a person started moving from point A, initial point, on a circle track and reached point A final point. Again after some time then the displacement of the person is zero as there is no gap between the initial point and final point. Distance will be the same as displacement if the body will not change direction after moving. Both distance and displacement are measured in meters in SI units. Speed is a measure of how fast or slow an object or body is moving. When a body moves, it covers a distance and it takes time to move. 
The speed of a body is the distance travelled by it per unit time. Velocity is the speed of an object in a direction. Distance travelled in a given direction is displacement. Therefore, the velocity of a body is the displacement produced per unit of time. The velocity of a body can be changed by changing the speed of the body and by keeping the speed the same but by changing direction. Both distance and displacement are measured in meters per second in SI units. Suppose a car is moving from point A to C. And the distance from A to C is divided into equal parts. The car takes the same time to cover the parts. The car has a uniform motion. A body has a uniform motion if it travels equal distances, taking the same time for each distance. If the car does not cover equal distances, taking the same time for each distance. The body has a non-uniform motion. A ball dropped from a height above the ground does not cover equal distances, taking the same time for each distance. Speed of the body never remains the same always. It changes. In traffic, a vehicle's speed is very less or zero. But after that, a vehicle speed can increase. So, to calculate the speed of a vehicle, average of all speeds are taken. Average speed is the total distance travelled divided by the total time taken to cover this distance. Average velocity is the total displacement of a body divided by the total time taken to cover the displacement. Velocity of a body can increase or decrease either by changing speed or directions. It takes some time to increase or decrease the velocity of a body. The change in velocity with time is called acceleration. Acceleration is uniform when equal changes of velocity take place in the same amount of time. It can be positive, zero or negative. When a body increases, its velocity with time, it is positive acceleration. When a body decreases its velocity with time, it is a negative acceleration. When a body's velocity does not change with time, the acceleration of the body is zero. Acceleration of a body 
is defined as the change of its velocity with time. Suppose the body has some initial velocity which is u and then the body changes its velocity. After accelerating the body's initial velocity changes which means u changes and the body now has a final velocity which is v. The body takes some time to accelerate which is t. The body has an acceleration a. Acceleration is measured in meters per second square in SI units. A body has a non-uniform acceleration. If the velocity of the body increases or decreases by unequal amounts in the same amount of time. In traffic, a vehicle speed increases or decreases by unequal amounts in the same amount of time. Points to remember. The movement of a body or an object is called motion. Distance travelled by a body is the actual length of the path covered by a moving body and displacement is the shortest distance along with direction between the initial and final point.